Looking for magic cards? Shop at Flipside Gaming using promo code LVD or find them on TCG Player through my affiliate link. Hello and welcome to my first premiere draft on Magic Arena. This footage is from the Ikoria Early Access event, which I was invited to by Wizards of the Coast, so hope you enjoy. Our first ever human draft on Arena. Pack one, pick one, or rares, pretty good. Gigantha goes into many different decks, and the companion ability is not too difficult to meet. What else do we have? Some pretty decent uncommons. Harvester, Moloch, Starix. All quite decent. And then Rock Slide, probably the best common in the pack, has good removal. But uh, yeah, let's take Gigantha and then just gotta make sure we don't have any cards with two of the same in the mana cost. Second pack. Sadly, can't take Boon if we wanna have this as our companion. Otherwise it would be a nice card draw spell. Empathy could be good as a way to draw some cards. There's a Heron as a great blue common to draw some cards and mutate. Yeah, it's probably between Heron and Empathy here. I think we're gonna try the Heron and see how that plays out. Can pick up another Moloch. There's Evolving Wilds for fixing, which I'm gonna need if I want to play three colors, but Gigantha we can play in any red or green deck. So, could just be two color after all. And then there's Essence Scatter as good interaction. Those are kind of the more exciting cards. Capture Spheres, okay, removal too. If we're more of a tap out deck, then we might prefer Capture Sphere over Essence Scatter here. So, I think I'm leaning Capture Sphere. The Marmoset's also okay if we end up with more cycling synergies. Let's just take the removal spell. Blue seems relatively open. Got another Essence Scatter here. Uh, Archipelagor is an okay curve topper if we need one, but don't think it's particularly exciting. Could take the Glimmer Bell as a good starting point for Mutates. But I think I still prefer Essence Scatter for now. Deadweight also still in the pack, so Black might be a little open. Let's just take the counter spell here. Another Capture Sphere. There's a Wild Bonder. That's a decent 4 drop. Tigorilla. Another similar 4 drop to the Wild Bonder. Probably prefer the Wild Bonder. Although I guess we can't play Wild Bonder with uh, Gigantha. So. It's either another Capture Sphere, or I can take Tigorilla, maybe set up for a blue red deck. There's also the Mentor still in the pack. Dark Bargain. I think I'll just stick to blue for now. Can see who's passing to us. Alright, so what do we have here? Thieving Otter seems nice. Nice uh, creature that can draw cards if it connects. We're also potentially blue-red, so we can pair it with the parrot that deals damage. Otherwise, Marmoset's okay. There's a couple cycling cards, but I think I prefer the Otter for now. Yeah, the Heron can give the Otter flying, so we can keep drawing cards, so that's a great combo. Cloud Piercer is an option, Keep Safe is an option. Not a huge fan of Subduel, but it's playable. I think so far red has appeared more open than green, so I think I'm okay with Cloud Piercer over Keep Safe. Do need to maybe lower the curve a little bit, pick up more 2 and 3 drops for Mutate but don't really want a Mysterious Egg. There's Crustacean or Tigerilla. We'll go with Tigerilla, even though we're more likely to end up blue. Maybe we'll abandon red if we open some great green cards. The 
This is still best of one, so don't need to prioritize sideboard cards. I could be playing at instant speed a decent amount with a capture sphere, so maybe convolute's playable, but probably not going to make the final cuts. So I've got some counter spells, some capture spheres as removal, some OK mutate cards, and then Gigantha as a nice curve topper. Can't really play the Mammoth if we want to play Gigantha as our companion. So maybe this is the time to pick up a Mysterious Egg, or I could speculate on black with the Cavern Whisper or Backwater. Let's take the Egg, although probably gonna need more Mutate before we consider it. Take an Impulse, but I doubt we'll uh, end up green, given how the first pack went. Anticipates, fine. So yeah, blue was wide open. Second color still up for grabs. Don't think we're playing two eggs. All right, second pack. Well, that's quite uh, rare to open. Could splash green and make that work. What else do we have? The oddity is decent. We have Charge of the Forever Beast, which should be quite good in our deck too, but it would also be on the splash. And then we've got uh, Ram Through as an excellent removal spell in green. Nothing amazing in blue reds other than the oddity. But I guess we wouldn't be able to play the Crasher if we want to play Gigantha, so it's a bit of a bummer. So maybe we'll just take the ramp through then. And we can maybe splash it or end up blue green after all. I think I prefer ramp through over charge, but it's close. Could also main deck Gigantha and still just play the Crasher. Alright, let's try the new cards. The rares. And then we'll reevaluate whether or not we want to play it as companion or not. Uh, lead the Stampedes could be okay. We're mostly creatures, but I guess doesn't play all that well with the capture spheres. Uh, I guess we do have a decent amount of non creature spells in the deck too. Thornwood Falls is appealing, a bit of mana fixing. But I guess I didn't see the shark. Yeah, the shark has to be the pick. A great uh, mutate card. Although. We do need to look out that we don't end up with a curve that's too high. Not a ram through. It's pretty appealing. Smasher's okay. Farfinder too. Don't mind the Farfinder as a good base for mutate and can fix her mana. So I think I prefer the three drop here. And then hopefully, I mean, Ram Through is not going to wheel, but maybe Smasher does. Or Greater Sandworm. So yeah, unsure yet whether we are going to main deck Gigantha or maybe not play the Crasher. And just uh, keep Gigantha as a companion. What do we have here? Bunch of black and white cards. Another capture sphere, I guess. It's not the most efficient removal, but don't see anything else that's better. Yeah, definitely want to look for more two and three drops here at this point, since our curve is starting to get a bit too high. And there's another companion. Of one mind, which I guess requires more humans before it's good. But it's always just a divination. Uh, anything else that's great? I guess the naturalist, if we want to main green, could be quite good, or the fertilit. Don't mind the naturalist, and then we'll just pivot into 
I guess we don't want to splash red for the crasher. Hmm. This is tough. Maybe just take divination anyway. Yeah. Frost links or otter. Both are nice. Otter's great with flying from Heron. We've got some capture spheres we can play to clear a path. Yeah, I think so. Developments, which can cycle for one mana. Don't think we need this uh, type of effect. Maybe we'll play this. Ooh, Primal Empathy. Could be nice. There's Fertilids. Mole. Reader is a human for of one mind. But we can mutate onto it. Probably take Empathy. Ram through Wield, that's surprising. Yeah, Simic seems pretty open. So, possible we just don't play Crasher and just go blue-green. Definitely like the Thornwood Falls here. So the way I see it at the moment is probably we're just blue-green and then we get to play Gigantha as our companion. Don't think we'll play the Impulses. Ooh, wow, got the Naturalist too. Well, this seems like a nice rare to open if we're blue-green. There's off one mines, but we already have one, and it plays well with Kinnon. Yeah, it seems like an easy Bonder Prodigy here. Don't mind the Ivy Elemental, since we've got a couple Mutate cards. Yeah, all these other cards are pretty mediocre. Fertilit is okay. But we're not going that big anymore. And this is kind of like a Fertilit if we're not going to use the ability, but it's better in the late game too. Ooh, nice. We've got the Chonky Wolf Bear. There's another Fertilit. Cliffs, if we wanted to splash red. Keep safe could be okay in this deck. But I like the wolf bear. And here, could take another Ivy Elemental or I could take the Falls, although there's a chance the Falls wheels. Also have a Uncolor Triome if we want to play red, but doesn't look like I'll, I'll be splashing red here. Could splash red for Porky Parrots, plays well with the two Thieving Otters we have. Maybe that's worth it. I have Farfinder for fixing. But that's about it. Uh oh, what did I take? Did I time out? I took the Triome. Alright, so it's automatically rare drafts. Ooh, Genesis Ultimatum you say. Challenge accepted. I mean, I'm gonna need to wheel some of these blue-red duels. But... Could be fun. Gotta be Evolving Wilds over Oddity now. Although Symbiote would be great too, actually. Uh, yeah, let's take the Symbiotes. It's just too good in this deck. 
Probably take naturalists. Don't think we're song of creationing. Symbiote's very good with mutates. And we could also use more two drops. There's another song of creation. Uh, doesn't seem like a great gust of wind deck. But it's probably the best we can do here. Take divination. We've got a couple of humans to combo with our of one mind. So rounding out the deck. Probably didn't get there on the Genesis Ultimatum, sadly. It's also double colored, so we can't play it with Gigantha as our companion. Although, as I say that, we did wield the Highlands. Alright, so let's have a look here. Not sure about Impulse, that's maybe... Don't think we need egg. Dissipates maybe. Convolutes maybe. We are a little bit light on wind conditions now that I look at it. But I guess we have uh, Kin on as well, as a decent mana sink. Turtle could go. Yeah, our deck draws a lot of cards. And then we've got a couple Capture Spheres, maybe Gust of Wind as interaction. Might play some of these counter spells too. How good is Impulse? Eh, it's medium. Don't have that many creatures now that I look at it. So can't really afford to cut too many. Where did the ultimatum go? Good question. I, I guess it doesn't show up because we have the filter enabled here. So the crasher is also hidden. This is the companion filter. Thwart could be okay. I think I'm a bit creature light for Thor to be at its best. Like, my deck can draw a lot of cards, but how do I actually close out the game? That's not so clear. The mana base is good. If I had Porky Parrots, we probably would have been able to splash it, but as is, this is still a dual land that comes into play tap that I can cycle, so it's still good in Simic. Just got Impulse, got Snare, I'll keep Development since it's okay with my Naturalists and other cheap creatures. Turtle's probably better than Mysterious Egg, as an early blocker that we can later adapt onto. So these are kind of my instants. And then I have two Naturalists and a Kinon, which are humans for of one mind. And they also play well with the Wolf Bear. Pretty happy with Gigantha as my companion. So we have a 5 drop since we don't have much top end, so just having a 5 mana 5-5 five five is quite good. And this can also help me with activating Kinon. And then I need to make one more cut, assuming 17 lands, which seems fine. Yeah, I could cut Anticipate. It's nice to have alongside some of the other counter spells like Scatter and 
convolutes, so I can still use my mana. Playing 16 lands when we have Farfinder and two naturalists could also be reasonable, and just play the extra anticipate instead. Maybe that's better. Yeah, the curve isn't incredibly high, but we can draw a lot of cards and we might be able to double spell, so that's still nice. I mean, Triome, if you compare it to a, a Falls, is still better. It's a land that comes into play tapped, makes both colors. You would always play the first two guild gates in most decks, and then we can later cycle it for three, so... Triome's pretty good in this deck still. I think I like 16 lands when we have two naturalists and the uh, Farfinder too. Alright, and then the distribution. Definitely skew towards blue. But I do need naturalists on turn two. So probably 7-7 seven, seven is fine. This is probably going to be a mulligan. Yeah, if we don't draw the blue right away, we're in trouble. Nah, not a great hand, but... If we draw blue, it's fine. I guess playing green untapped uh, gives away the ivy elemental in my hand. Uh-oh. Did not want to see a 2-mana 3-1. Now keeping up Asa Scatter is pretty painful. But playing a 1-1 one -one Ivy Elemental is probably not what I should do. No, you don't necessarily play against the same people you drafted with, but you do play against someone that drafted with other humans. Alright, so this turn... Keep up Convolute and can cycle the Triome, if needed. Next turn we can maybe Gust of Wind. Not the best answer to the rescuer here. Just play Gigantha. Can make a lot of mana, but can't use it on the Ivy except for the green. So my best bet is probably just play. A 5-5 five, five Ivy Elemental keep Gigantha on defense, requiring them to cycle twice to tap them both down. And they're playing off-color cycling cards, just for the ability to cycle. So yeah, this could hurt. These capture spheres, not quite what we need here. Hold this to cycle in case we don't need to capture sphere.
All right, I think we got a capture sphere here. Luckily, it's only the first time each turn that they get a token. Is their deck just all cyclers? trouble. Yeah, we've encountered two snare tacticians. Imagine all those being in play. Just all snare tacticians and cyclers, I guess. Yeah. That'll do it. And yeah, capture sphere doesn't really help against a deck like that. Didn't end up with that many mutate cards in the end, but had a lot at the start of the draft. So they might have the one mana plus one plus three and give a reach counter trick. Or they have their own Ivy Elemental. Yeah, I mean, I don't care that much about the Symbiotes. I guess it's a good time to mutate this. Next turn we can play Gigantha. I guess Capture Sphere doesn't help against the untap trick, because it would just untap. Do we change plans, or do we still send as if they don't have it? 
I mean, they had Ivy Elemental, so maybe they w that was the one mana green spell that was holding priority. So it still seems fine then. Alright, didn't have it. Yeah, it was the Ivy Elemental holding priority earlier. Ooh, ominous seas. Well, probably gonna hold the shore shark to bounce the kraken. Do I empathy or do I one with mines? I might want to one with mines, because they're pretty likely to play a creature that's bigger. Don't care too much about putting counters there. Alright, so... 4 mana... And keep up as a scatter. So this turn, I guess we want to double spell here. Next turn I could play Gigantha and Empathy in the same turn. Oh wow. Opponent's got the hate card for my companion. Alright. Well, I guess we'll need to bounce that before we get access to Gigantha. Yeah, I could attack with a Thieving Otter. They would block with their two one threes, and then I can Shore Shark bouncing the Symbiotes, killing the Magistrates. If they triple block, I can bounce the Lynx and kill Magistrates. So I guess that's fine. Opponent takes it. Alright, works for me. Ideally I would keep the shark for the ominous seas anyway. Or we could find another mutate creature to then bounce the seas afterwards. So the loot happens. Yeah, I guess we'll let that go. Gotta keep Shark for Kraken, I think. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Huh, so if it's tied, you still get to draw the extra card. I guess, yeah, greatest power is two, so we have two. That makes sense, I guess. So I could capture Sphere of the Parcel Beasts and then still Great Shark. I guess we'll let that go. They're pretty close to getting their Kraken, so we'll play it safe. We're drawing a lot of cards still. Once we get the shark down, I can maybe fight a magistrate and then play Gig uh, Giganta. I don't think I'm going to bother attacking with Otter anymore. Next turn, they'll get their Kraken. Anticipates and Capture Sphere. Capture Sphere can also answer the 8 8s. And yeah, this will stay in place. If they get another 8 counters, they could make another Kraken. So, I guess we can anticipate. They can activate this at instant speeds, but they're just gonna go for it right away. All right, I think we'll go for it now. Because of course they wanted to stop the draw from empathy, which is why they did it right away. So where do we mutate this? Maybe the turtle. Farfinder keeps vigilance, that's nice. Putting it on the other just gets blocked by turtle. I think I'll go on Farfinder. Alright, 14 cards left. We do ma need to make sure we can win the game before we run out of cards, because this is not a May ability. But now we should be able to do some damage. So we'll send in... I'm fine trading the other way at this point. Sure. Do they have some sort of way to shrink down my creatures here? Nope. 
A sweeper we need to be concerned with. In band colors, I can't think of much. I guess, yeah, there's the White Mythos. But it's not great if they're not Mardu. I would still get to keep my biggest creature. Alright. Yeah, Empathy definitely drew us a lot of cards. And we learned that uh, if the greatest power is tied, it still draws a card. Decent hands. Doesn't seem like I'm going to need to play this right away. So I'm okay holding it for cycling purposes. Skull Prophet, nice. So... Let's play our Pathfinder for now. Shore Shark has been quite good so far. So has the Wolf Bear combined with our two mana humans. We'll see if it was a mistake or not. Seems fine. Get the wolf bear out there. I'm pretty happy if they're using it to get rid of my Farfinder as opposed to something more valuable. Alright, Greater Sandworm revealed. Wolf Bear down. It's too bad. Cycles a worm. So get in for five. Could bounce the profits. Send them back on mana too. Mills too. Points playing white as well. So might be missing a color. Don't really want to Shore Shark mutate onto Gigantha. Much better to do it on a smaller creature so that the 4 3 actually matters. Migration path, all right, now opponent's going big. Gets plains and swamp. So get in for six, play naturalists. Keep up a bunch of mana for shark and triome. Mm, 
back for more on the sandworm. Yeah. Tries to fight Gigantha, so I guess now we're forced to mutate. I think we just ram through, get in for seven, and then try and get across the finish line with Capture Sphere. I guess I could cycle this now. Probably should have started by cycling. Oh no. Honey Mammoth gains four. Do they have another play? Cycles. So Sphere should still do it. I guess I could have the untap trick for one mana. Looking at their graveyards. Cycles of Fox. Alright, so we made our gems back, and of course we got all the cards from the draft as well as four packs. So yeah, going five wins in this draft is pretty good value. Let's see if we can add on to that. Hmm, this hand's missing an early play. Don't know if I can keep this. Yeah, a couple too many fours. This is better. So next turn I could play Thieving Otter. Opponent was maybe deciding if they wanted to cycle something. I'm gonna do it now. Don't have a great answer for this Great Horn lined up. So I guess we'll just play Gigantha. And hope to find one of our bounce spells to maybe clear a path for the Otter. Have to discard the cards. Probably get rid of the symbiotes. Could be nice. I guess we'll attack first.
Hardless acts, nice. So no card draw for us. Can maybe play a big Ivy Elemental now. Yeah, I think I want to spread out to counters in case they kill the Otter. Capture Sphere, good for the Whisperer. Start with Anticipates. So I could Capture Sphere the Whisperer now. So I can hit for 6, otherwise they can double block. Which I didn't think we want to let happen. I'll be Shields down on Scatter though. Or I can just pass, and then end of turn capture Sphere. But then I miss out on an attack. Probably worth it to do this when they only have one card in hand. If I attack with everyone, they block Otter. They take 9 down to 2. It's probably worth it. If they have, let's say, a Shore Shark here, then it could be bad. Nah, we'll go for it. The Naturalist wouldn't be able to tap for Assassin Scatter, so can't keep it up if we decide to capture Sphere. Ooh, Thwarty Enemy is what they had. Alright. Surprised they killed the Farfinder instead of the Otter. Ooh, nice. Six. I guess we could use the ability to here. Hopefully our opponent doesn't concede before we get a chance to activate it. Sure. So we can't mutate the shark if we find it with Kinnon. Alright, so last one here. On the play. Not an amazing hand, but especially if we find something to maybe clear a path for Otter, we could be in business. I'll try it. So Heron would be our best draw here to give the Otter flying. Could maybe use development to push through as well. 
Capture Sphere not so much. So I think the plan's probably just either keep up Convolute or I play other can maybe cycle development too. I think I like keeping up Convolute this turn. Yeah, let's counter that. I think I'll cycle it, because just hitting my land drop for Gigantha would be good already. Gem Racer, nice. Well, that makes Capture Sphere a little sketchy to use here. If they have more mutate cards, which they probably do. But then again, what else am I supposed to do with these capture spheres? Can play a pretty big Ivy Elemental up to a 6-6. Six, six. So if I sphere the gem raiser and attack with all that can attack, Mole could eat other, get in for eleven. Or could see a double block on Gigantha. Take eight. Don't love it. I guess Ivy Elemental can attack still. Alright, probably best window to capture sphere we have. Just gotta draw some bounce spells over the top here to get across the finish line. Alright, and apparently we got there. Sweet. So we got the full seven wins on our first attempt. Lost the first one in pretty brutal fashion, but then we had a pretty nice win streak. Hmm. I don't think opening packs is going to accomplish much once we have the entire set unlocked. But uh, I guess we want to see some gems. Oh yeah, look at those gems. Mythic wildcard, I'll take it. Hmm. 10,000 mythic rare wildcards. I think we'll be good for a while. Alright, 
So we got the satisfaction of opening some packs. Yeah, that was a fun draft. First time doing the human draft on Arena overall. Very good experience, I would say. So that's going to be it for me today. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.